Hello. So you just been in market, gotten up the bridge, and you want to enter the castle. And you see this guy here who is talking to you. What should you do about it? Alright, so this NPC, the thing it does is if you talk to him and you tell him, no, I'll use the main gate. When you get here, he will ask to open the gates, which is actually a good idea because this way you avoid having to do it yourself manually. Now, picking those things up is not really that worth it. Just a few golden runes, but it's a shortcut that you can take after you take care of the um, ballista guys. Try to go in there, and a lot of ballistas that are gonna attack you, and you're gonna be probably dead. Now, if you go into the area, you go forward. Uh, at some point, you're gonna see a door that you can open and that it'll, a cutscene will play and someone will close it behind you. And throughout the game, every time you in the area, every time you die, uh, you're gonna lose 10% of the souls that you that you get. Even if you recover them, you're gonna recover 90% of your souls, not the 100% amount that you, you usually get. Now the reason for that is because of this NPC right here, who's gonna be uh, stealing from you. And it's gonna be following you around, stalking you, and making your life harder by closing a gate behind you when you enter an enemy. Now the way to avoid that, or if you lost souls to this guy and you didn't know that, you, if you kill him, he won't steal your souls and he'll give you back your souls if you if you lost any. Um, now he's not a hard NPC to fight, uh, mainly because... Um, you can see that you can break his stance by just like he's an easy NPC, and you can break his stance by uh, R2ing him, and you can just perma stun him this way. Um, this works with most weapons, probably not daggers, but yep, he gives you his bell bearing, so you don't even need to worry about losing him as a bender. I didn't have any souls lost to him because I just got in here in this playthrough, but um, yeah, I hope this helped you and thank you for watching.